Hey, what is up, everybody? This is your insightful tribute, Orgas Chavez here, and welcome back to Balloons Monkey City on the mobile. Yes, we are back. This is my iPhone, by the way, and I am playing Balloons Monkey City on my iPad, and I think I am also in level 10, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, I do have two cities, and here's the good thing about having two cities. I can send six crates instead of three, because I'm playing with my two Game Center accounts. Now, eventually, I'm going to deactivate one of the Game Center accounts. I think I can deactivate it. If not, we'll see. But that's eventually, not right now. So let's collect our city cash. And let's see if we could do some research. Let's see, can we do some research? No, we need to save up 6,000 coins to get that upgrade. And it takes one day. I'm already currently researching something here from the Dart Monkey Academy. I already have two apprentices, and let me see. Oh, so I have two two apprentices. Cool, not bad. So it's just the third tiers. I think most of the third tier upgrades, you have to wait a whole day just to get them. And most of these upgrades are between the range of 4,500 and above. Okay, 4,500 and above of coins. So it's, it's a lot of work, and, you know, eventually you'll get there. You want to try and get your banana farms... As soon as possible, as soon as they're unlocked, you go here to the lightning bolt, click that, and you drag your banana farms. Make sure you have four spaces. Yes, these banana farms require four spaces. All of this just for one banana farm. Now, let's go ahead and do some tiles then. Hmm. Oh, one more thing I wanted to tell you guys before I start playing. I do check my notifications right here. You see this little button right here in the top right corner? You click that, and here are your notifications. As you can see, this guy named Johnny Bowler 9 visited my city and he gave me a free bloomstone. So, very simple. I'm going to go ahead and. Well, I accepted the bloomstone. And these two people asked me for, for crates. And unfortunately, you could only send three per day. But like I said, I have two accounts. So I can send six crates per day. So, I mean, it, all you have to do is request the crates and I'll send them to you. I have no problem with that. And of course, I'll request crates in in return. You know, it's a win-win. I give you a crate, you give me a crate. We're both happy, right? And right now, the game is still not out for Android. Not that I'm aware of. And if it's ever... Well, when it does come to Android, and you want me, the insightful tribute, to send you crates, all you have to do is add me on Facebook, and of course, I will send you crates. Because in order to send crates, you go here to your friends list, and you go to the game to Facebook and Game Center. So that's all you're doing. All right. So enough enough explaining. So let's see our city. Look how much we expanded it. We've done a lot, and I'm gonna do this special mission eventually. Right now, I feel like getting triple darts and boats, which I already have them up to two two. I believe. Yeah, two two. So yeah, we need to get third tier upgrades so we can start doing the harder missions. So. <laughs> In the meantime, I guess I can build a, a windmill. No, I mean a water mill. So let's go ahead and build one. There we go. We're going to be building a water mill. Not only that, I feel like building another boat. Where is the boat? We've, we're building a port. Oh, oh yeah, it fits. There we go. And we build it another port. Can I build another one? Oh, no, that is it for now until level 11. Cool. And I'm almost to level 11. So let's go do some more water tiles. Here we go. We have a river terrain. That's what they call it. And let's go ahead and do it. Do I need a crate? Not right now. I don't think I'm going to be wasting my supply crates on the easy levels. So we're go ahead and we're going to get started. Let's get started with the first crate. We're probably going to do three tiles for you guys. And that'll pretty much be the end of the episode. But we shall see. Depending on the time. We shall see how many tiles we'll do. All right. So let's go ahead and start putting up our dart monkeys. You want to set them on strong, so they can attack the strong balloons. And you always want to start with a spike factory. And there we go, see? Those red balloons are no match for us. So let me just take off the, the sound, and there we go. Let's continue. And those balloons win are super fast. We're in non-stop mode, by the way. The ninja is banned, so we're going to have to use a monkey apprentice. We're going to save up for the monkey apprentice, and we're going to be using the monkey apprentice for this level. I do have the 2-2 Apprentice, and I would like to use him here. The Lightning, I think, would be pretty cool in this map, but we shall see what happens. 
Those pinks wanted to sneak through, but they couldn't sneak through. There we go. We have our apprentice. We'll set on strong as well. And we're going to go for the fireball. We're just waiting for, for it to hit $300, and I'll buy the fireball. So this game overall, it's a, a lot of fun. I could be in level 24. Or even, I could be in level 30 right now. But I'm more focused on, on other stuff, you know. I'm doing other things besides playing games all day, you know. I'm also enjoying my relaxation time, you know, without school. Uh, I'm going to read my Mockingjay book eventually. I'm still, I'm like halfway done with Mockingjay. So I can't wait to finish the epic ending. Oh my gosh, I got the a wrong upgrade. I should never have gotten that. I think I'm just going to sell my apprentice and I'll buy him back. Screw it, we'll, we'll get that. Yeah, and I wasted a lot of money right there. I don't think camo balloons come out here, and if they do, that's what the spike factory is for. Dang it, I wasted some money for nothing. Oh, well. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. And we just lost lives. We lost a ton, crap loads of lives. For the first time ever, I will not be getting no lives lost. Dang it. So we will not be getting two bloomstones. Oh, my gosh. It's the end of the world. I'm not going to get two bloomstones. I might need those two bloomstones for a future upgrade. And now I'm not going to get them. Just kidding, guys. It's only two bloomstones. I mean, I could watch a free video for those to make up for those two bloomstones. Or I could just visit one of my friend's village. And, I mean, one of my friend's city. Sorry about that. I know I said village. That's more... We're talking about Clash of Clans there. But these are cities, not villages. So, as you can see, these blooms got very tough right away. And I am already down to 20 lives. I believe I had 65 to begin with. And these balloons are just literally overwhelming me. I, you know, I don't have the ninja because it was banned. It was not favored here. So that's a disadvantage for me. The ninja would have been great. And there go more, blo more balloons. No, we're not going to let them sneak through. It's a good thing I have a spike shack. I unlocked spikes. Can we possibly survive two more rounds? Now I regret not starting with a supply crate. I should have started with the supply crate. But my mistake was to get the 0-2 Apprentice when I didn't need it. That was my huge mistake. It really was, and there's not much I can do to make up for that mistake. Here's the thing. Slow everything down. Sell you. And we'll get Lightning. That should pretty much help us out for the rest of the game. So we'll see how the Lightning does. So far, it's doing a fantastic job against the balloons. So for the first time ever, I will not be getting no lives lost. That is so crazy. Have I ever lost a tile? Yes. Only, wait, no, never mind. I didn't get no lives lost. This, so this would be the second time, but this is the first time that I'm not, that I'm not going to get no lives lost while I'm recording. So it's technically the second time. Oh, well, it's only two bloomstones, right? And I haven't used any of my bloomstones. As you can see here, down here, it looks like it's a power boost similar to BTD battles on the mobile so I I don't think I'm going to use it if I, I don't I don't want to make a habit of spending my bloom stones on that unless I really need to and I'm going to only do that in the late game so as you can see there we go we could not get the no lives lost and that was that sucked Whew, lead blooms lead blooms hmm well, let's see what towers... Yeah, the ninja, again, is restricted. The bomb tower is restricted. Man, I am going to have such a hard time with this map. Then again, I could, I could use boats. And to pop the leads, I'll have the apprentice. So, you know what? Let's try it. Let's be risky. Can we use more than one supply crate in the game? Can we? Hmm. I don't know. I've never tried two. So, let's go ahead and do that. We're going to see what happens. Can we use two supply crates... In the game. It's interesting. So we'll start off with the Spike Factory as always. And I'm going to save up for the Monkey Apprentice. So there's one Supply Crate. I clicked on two. I don't see a second one coming anytime soon. So I believe you are only allowed to use one Supply Crate. Okay. I mean, that's fine. I got a couple extra money. So my best bet is to go for the Fireball. Pretty much what I'm going to try and get. There we go. We got the fireball. Because remember, those leads are going to be very tough. And I think I should have started with my apprentice over here. 
But we're going to see because these are 14 lifts. Oh, wait a second. You could get multiple supply crates. Holy crap. Uh, I'm going to start using three instead of two. That's crazy. The boat is 525. Okay, I'm going to be using boats too. Almost there. I'm saving up for the boat now. So I started with the Monkey Apprentice. And now we're going to be using the boat. The Monkey Buccaneer. Okay, so let's, I might as well get it right now. We'll get it there. And we want to start getting the grape shot. It would be very helpful against the balloons. And I think I'm going to keep my boat on first. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep it on first. As you can see, a lot of pinks. It's a good thing I didn't start off with dart monkeys this time. My mistake was, again, getting the wrong upgrade for the monkey apprentice. That was my mistake. Then again, I do want to get another monkey apprentice because of the leads. I don't want them to get too far into the game. So we're going to have to get another Monkey Apprentice very soon. We're going to have to be saving up for it. And so far, so good. All right, so let's go ahead and get that Apprentice right there when the leads come out. Got to be ready for them. $500 for Grape Shot. Okay, we'll, we'll be saving up for the Grape Shot. So the balloons are starting to overwhelm me, but they didn't. There we go. We got the Grape Shot now. Hopefully, we're a lot much safer now. Hopefully, we're a little bit safer now. And we're going to be saving up for the 1-1 one, one Monkey Buccaneer very soon. So, <laughs> finally, it's about time the game starts getting a little bit more challenging, though. I mean, I was getting bored of playing the just the, the pink tiles with yellows, pink, yellow, and green, something like that. Blue and, and red, and the red tiles. Yeah, they, they got boring. And now that the game is more intense, it's crazy. I'm telling you guys, it's crazy. Can't, I can't wait to do the Monkey Sub special mission, though. I, I just can't wait to do it. Oh, camo balloons are now coming out. Crap. I do not have enough money for the crow's nest. And now I do. I did not know camo balloons would be coming out in, in this round. It didn't say, but it's a good thing I do have camo detection for my towers. And in order to get camo detection, you have to get the camo countermeasure building. I think that's what it's called. It's a building that creates the camo detection for all of your towers. If not, you cannot research the camo detection for your towers in your facilities. Once again, I will say it again. In order to get camo detection for all of your towers, you need to get the camo countermeasure building. It's another building. It's an upgrade building. You buy it, place it on your city, wait for it to finish You know, building, and... Yeah, that's what gives the camo detection to your towers. And since I already have the building, I do have camo detection. So now I need to get camo detection for one of my apprentices. And I finally got lightning. So as you can see, for the first time ever, I am not using any dart monkeys. So is that good or bad? I have no idea. Dart monkeys are great, but I do not have 0-3 dart monkeys or 2-3 dart monkeys. I do not have third tier dart monkeys. I wish I had third tier dart monkeys, but I will have third tier dart monkeys for the next episode though. Because I am currently researching triple darts. I started re the research a couple hours ago. Maybe I would say six hours ago. So in 24 hours, or in less than 24 hours, in less than 24 hours, we will have dart monkeys upgraded to 2-3. So that's, that's pretty cool. And we're going to get another Apprentice at Lightning because I feel like it. I mean, that's how we're using this game. Apprentices, Apprentices. That's cool. Hmm. There we go. I guess I'm going to save up for the Glue Gunner. Because the, the, the Lightning, if it hits a glued balloon, it's not going to take away the glue unless it's a Summon Whirlwind. And by that, I mean a Tornado. So if the Apprentice is upgraded to, to 0, 3 or 2, 3, it's going to take away the glue. But if it's not upgraded to the tornado, it's not going to take away the glue. Wait, is it the, is the tornado on the right side or on the left side? I forgot about the tornado, what upgrade it is. But you guys know what I'm talking about. The summon whirlwind. Wow, it's already getting very late into the game. I should probably unlock more boats because look at all this money that I have left over. should definitely unlock more boats. I guess the only thing I can do is upgrade Dar Monkeys for now. It's the only thing I can do. Yeah, because there's a lot of freaking balloons coming out. It's a good thing I have two apprentices. You know what? I'm going to get a third apprentice building because I feel like I might need it. 
I feel like I might need it. There we go, and we have a glue gunner. If only I have more glue gunner. So that's what we're going to be doing throughout this episode, hopefully. If I have any leftover coins from my banana farms. I normally check the game every five hours or so. Every five, six hours. And I get my bananas. Well, I, well the banana farms give you coins, but you guys know what I'm talking about. And I get my, and I get my fair share of 1,500 coins every time I check. So I check usually three to four times a day. So that's a lot of loot. That's 6,000 coins approximately. There we go. And we conquered the terrain. It's crazy. Oh, we completed the quest. Ready to go again. There's nothing like the smell of pop rubber in the morning. <laughs> I don't really do the quests. I just don't. It's, it's crazy. I mean, I know what they are, but right now I'm more focused on upgrading my stuff. So yeah, we're going to keep moving up in the river. Oh no, that's getting very tough. You know what, screw that, I'll go down here. Yeah, this seems a little bit much easier. Cool. We'll do this one, and this will pretty much be the end of the episode. But if, before I do anything of that, can I buy any more stuff? I can buy another water mill. Well, I have enough power for now. I guess I'll, I'll buy a boat. Cause I would really love to get boats. Oh wait, I forgot. I can't get any more boats, right? No, I can't. I'm already upgrading one. Dang it. Hmm. I guess I might build a water mill. Yeah. Screw it. I'll build another one. Let's see. There we go. We'll build another water mill. And I'll see what else I can build for the future episodes. So as you can see, this is pretty much my entire city. Not much is going on. Just pure upgrading. So we're going to do the last river tile right here. Let's go ahead and get it started. Hmm, let me see the level of difficulty. It's medium, so I guess I'll use one supply crate. There we go. So just remember, I, I will always send supply crates. It's just so many people request them. At least 10 people per day request me with supply crates. I will get back to whoever I have in my list. So please do not panic. I will give you a supply crate. It's just not going to happen every day. If a lot of people request for supply crates, I cannot give everybody supply crates in the same day. So I'm sorry, guys. I wish I could. I'll tell you that. If I could, I would. But, you know, the game only allows three supply crates. And like I said, I do have two accounts. And I give six supply crates so that I make at least six people happy instead of three. And every time I give supply crates, I believe everybody gives supply crates in return. So thank you guys for giving me the supply crates as well. It's a win-win for both of us. So there we go. We started with the boat again. Zero, one. We got to watch out for camos because they might come out. Hmm. We're going to get the apprentices again or should I get the glue gunner this time? I don't know. It's 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 tough to decide because it, this game is unpredictable. I, I do not know what's going to come out. It's crazy. So hmm, I'm going to get the apprentice here. Sit on strong and we'll save up for the fireball. And we'll save up for lightning as well. There we go. The buccaneer is doing an amazing job at popping the balloons. He's doing such a great job. And there we go. We got the fireball. And that should help out quite nicely. Clean up most of those balloons. But it seems that these balloons might get a little bit tough. Even though it said that it's medium difficulty. But you never know. So let's just... Get the glue gun. Where would be a good spot for it? Hmm. Here or here? Yeah, I guess here. Gonna upgrade it to one one, and then we're gonna upgrade it to two one. And that's as far as I can go. There we go. Because I'm currently researching, or actually no, I can't research the glue splatter yet. It requires level twelve, which sucks. I'm still in level ten. I know, it's, I rank up slowly. The only way to rank up faster is by keep building buildings, you know. And that's what I try to do. It's just, I haven't played the game a lot. You know, I wish I could, but hey, it, it's much more fun when you still have a lot to do anyway. I mean, the game just came out a, a, like a week ago. Or this past week, it just came out. I'm, not, I'm in no hurry in finishing the game. To be honest, I, yeah, I'm not in a hurry to finish this game. That's just me. 
And does one truly finish this game? Who knows? I haven't even seen Super John Bombo if he ever finished Bloons Monkey City on Flash. I'll check out his Flash videos, see if he ever finished the game, but who knows? Who knows? This game could be endless, just like Clash of Clans. It's endless. The game keeps updating, and yeah, that's what makes it fun. So let's go ahead and upgrade the Apprentice 2-2, and we're going to start getting another 2-2 Apprentice. Probably get him here in this corner. There we go. Get him to, well, I'll keep him on first. Might as well just keep him on first. There we go. 1-1 one, one Apprentice. So there we go. Round 10 of 12 already. We're getting there, guys. So it's, it's an amazing game. I love it so much. I, I think I like this game much better than BTD5. To be honest, I like this game a whole lot better than Bloons Tower Defense Battles. I think... This could be the game that could change it all. I think this could be the best game in the Bloom's Tower Defense series of all time. I could be wrong, but that's just my opinion. So, I don't know. I just love this game. It's, it's very fun. And you, you can't finish it all in one day. So, that's what's good about it. They make you wait. So, yeah. That's, that's one good thing about the game. That way you don't play this game for the whole day and not do anything. It's good that they make you wait for the upgrades. That way you wait, do something in the meantime, then come back to the game and have fun again, right? That's pretty much all you're going to do. So there we go. We have conquered another river terrain, I believe. This was a river terrain. And we did it. We did it. Oh, and we're now in level 11. That's crazy. We are now going to start with 1,350 cash and 70 lives. That's awesome. We made it to level 11. What is this? Improve your Monkey City skills. Play the award-winning Balloons Tower Defense 5. Featuring over 40 tracks. Fun special missions. 250 plus challenges. And awesome updates every month. That's cool. I have it. It's very fun. Can't wait to do more co-op episodes. I tell you that. Oh no. Ah, uh, stupid ads. I ain't gonna lie to you, but that looks like an awesome toy. Even though I'm not a little kid, but looks like a good toy. Okay, and we are back. So apparently nobody commented if they wanted to, me to get the special offer. It's Time is running out. I only have a day and 14 hours to respond. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know if I'll get it or not. We'll see. I'll see if I'll get it, but who knows. And, well, let's see what else we can build. I guess we'll build more water mills. It's the only thing I can do. So it's 550. Oh, hell yeah, we have enough. There we go. There's one water mill. And we're going to build the other one over here. There we go. So now our I don't really have to worry about power for a long time. Because, I mean, just look at all of this. All of these water mills. I'm currently building three of them. No, four of them, actually. I'm building the boat. That's cool. So for the next episode, we'll probably do some tiles over here, maybe. And those look like fun. Oh, leads are coming out. That's cool. Or we could do some tiles maybe down here. Yeah, down here seems fun. Oh, a treasure. Oh, I want to do that one for the next episode, maybe. And we could still do some more tiles here. So we'll see. I'll do some tiles on my free time. That way I don't bore you guys with the same old pink, yellow, green tiles. But we'll see. Overall, it's been a fun game. And there is the monkey sub. Hopefully I get him unlocked one of these days. In fact, I'll try to record the monkey sub special mission, so I'll try my best. Oh, and we have something upgraded. We upgraded the boat already. There we go. Now we can use two boats. Two if by sea. Another quest has been completed. That's more like it. Now the balloons won't have anywhere to hide. Okay. And that's pretty much it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. We made it to level 11. That's awesome. We'll see how far we can get into the next episode hopefully we make level 12 who knows a lot of stuff can happen so this is your insightful tribute saying have an awesome day
And, well, stay awesome. Peace.